everybody, and welcome back to Saya Sports. And today, I want to talk about the unicorn, the potential goat, the next Babe Ruth, who's way better than Babe Ruth, because I think Babe Ruth is super overrated, but that's another topic for another day. Shohei Otani. This dog right here is incredible. Look at these stats. This dog is crazy. Just, I think this is just batting war. Um, but even so, 6.5 war. And we're about halfway through the season. I think that's total war. That has to be. Um, is crazy. Um, looking at these stats. Look at these. He's hitting with an OPS well over 1,000. Slugging at 663. 387 on base. 302 average. Uh, 32 home runs. Uh, he is just behind where Aaron Judge was yet last year in his um, freaking 62 home run season. Uh, 182 OPS plus. He is doing crazy, and I believe that just based on the batting stats, that this dog can win MVP. It's not a lock, but I think based on batting stats, he's probably well up there. He's at the very least second. Um, I don't know who would be above him, but... Oh, look at... Um, off topic, but yesterday, uh, Rocky Southpaw Kyle Freeland suffered a dislocated right shoulder while making a diving attempt at a bunt. Oops! <laughs> Freeland, you, oh no. And the crazy thing is, he would probably win MVP just based on this. But the reason why MVP is already a lock, he could stop playing today. And I think his MVP uh, status would be a lock. Oh, look, his birthday was like a week ago. Um, the reason is because of this. He's batting to an MVP level, and his pitching is it's okay. Uh, 332 is pretty good. Um, his uh, innings pitch, strikeouts. He has a, a really high strikeouts per nine, which is surprising. Uh, 11 point, no, I'm sorry, 11.8. Um, surprising that he has this high of a strikeout rate. Just because I didn't, I didn't think that he would, that he would be such a strikeout machine. Um, especially like because of what he does on top of all that. He had a much better pitching season last year. I kind of don't know what the hell happened. His ERA went up like a whole run. He's probably not winning Cy Young this year, but 332 is nothing to scoff at. Like, that's pretty impressive. Um, not to mention the fact that, yeah, he is he is batting at this extreme this year. This is his best batting season, like, by far. Even his MVP season, he was doing great uh, batting-wise, but he wasn't doing... Um, he wasn't doing fucking this. And then last year, he took... It's weird. Whether... He, either his pitching is elite or his batting is elite. And then both of them are just good on at worst. Um, because last year, he did actually take a major step back batting-wise. His OPS went down like 100 points. Uh, but this year, he went up a whole 200 points at the All-Star break. And the reason why I'm ta talking about this now is because we are at the All-Star break. And the trade deadline is going to be coming up pretty soon. And I'm going to be talking about the trade deadline. Because the trade deadline is in about, I'm recording this on June 11th, it's like two, three weeks maybe? Well, those are his stats, and what I want to talk about is the plan with Shohei. So let's talk about it. Well, we talked about the stats. Now I want to talk about what Shohei and his future is going to look like. Do we know what his future is going to look like? Not exactly, but we have some ideas. Uh, he reaches free agency at the end of this season, and I can say with 100% confidence that he is not returning to the Angels after this season. And there are a couple reasons for that. Number one, the Angels have fucking sucked his entire career there. He really regrets going to the Angels and signing with them in the first place. Why he signed with them in the first place, I actually don't know. But he had uh, all kinds of East Coast teams after him. He had the Dodgers after him. And I think he said his reasoning was like, oh, you know, I wanted to be on the West Coast in the area. The Dodgers are right there, dog, and they're fucking good, okay? So, yeah, but I feel like his main reasoning was, like, at the time, uh, only the American League had a DH, so in reality, uh, being with the Angels would have been a better idea if you wanted to be, like, on that in that California zone, but now all teams have the DH, which means that Shohei is able to actually be a DH on any team, so he's not limited to just the American League, which is good. And the problem for the Angels is that they know this too. They know for a fact that he's not coming back next year. Where is he going to sign? With the Dodgers? With the Mets? With the Yankees? 
I don't really know. I feel like it's going to be one of those big teams. I personally hope he signs with the Dodgers. Um, I'm not even sure what his market's going to be, but I heard reports of him getting like, like 60, 70 million dollars a year, which is insane. But okay. I mean, if he can get that, then he can get that. And do I know exactly what he's going to sign for? No, but I know that there are a lot of big money markets who will shell out that cash for him, including the Dodgers themselves. And the Angels will probably make a run at him too. Um, it'll probably be just to say that they did and didn't say that they let him go. That is unless they trade him. Now, what am I talking about? Well, the trade deadline is in about three weeks and the Angels, the Angels suck, but they're not stupid. Okay, they know that he's not going to come back. So what are they going to do if he's not going to come back? Well, uh, they are probably going to trade him. I wouldn't be shocked. And mostly just because they know more than anybody else that there is no way that they get him in free agency. So why lose him for nothing if you can give him up for a generational haul? Now, admittedly, his market for trade isn't as big as it would have been like at the beginning of this year which is when they should have traded him, but it's still going to be pretty big because of two reasons. Number one, you get Shohei Otani for your playoff run. That's a pretty big deal. That's a DH and a starting pitcher who can both be pretty good uh, in the postseason. I mean, he's never been in the postseason before, but I have, a, I have no reason to believe that he would just all of a sudden suck in the postseason. And number two, he would probably re-sign with wh whichever team trades for him. I feel like um, Shohei is the kind of guy who would at least listen to whatever offer any team has to have. And getting those exclusive negotiating rights for six months is huge. Um, just because, like, if you were to look at the Dodgers and Mookie, when they traded for Mookie, they traded for him thinking that, oh, we can convince them to re-sign with us. So even though they only traded for him for a year, they technically traded for him for 12 years because they got him off the bat. Um, and th that exclusive negotiating rights is really important. Um, will Shohei 100% re-sign with whichever team trades for him? I don't know. But I feel like that team instantly jumps up to number one on the list. The Dodgers traded uh, two top 100 prospects for Max Scherzer and uh, Trey Turner. For half a year of Max Scherzer and for a year and a half of Trey Turner. So I'm thinking that level of value is enough to make up for Shohei, maybe even a little bit more. So I'm thinking two top 100 prospects and like two extra top 200 prospects are probably enough to land Shohei. Well, the, an the Angels are probably going to ask for way more. I wouldn't be shocked if they asked for way more just because they suck and they, <laughs> they don't know what the value is. But that Scherzer tra uh, Turner uh, trade is the blueprint that you're supposed to be. Now, did the Dodgers get a steal for that? Kind of. So, with that in mind, you got to focus on that. You got to remember that. And um, just don't get crazy, Angels. That's what I'm asking. Don't get crazy with your trade demands because you got to know that you get, you, you got to take what you can get, first of all. Will everyone be willing to give you like one or two top 100 prospects? Probably. But if you ask for any more, then they're going to start uh, walking back on those on those things. For example, if I'm the Dodgers, right, and they ask, hey, give us Miguel Vargas, give us Michael Bush, give us Ryan Pepio, give us Landon Knack, and give us Emmett Sheehan, hell no, y'all are out of your minds. If they say, hey, give us Miguel Vargas uh, and give us Ryan Pepio and also someone else who isn't like a top 100 prospect, okay, I'll do it because that's pretty good value. That's in really good value because you can get rid of um, someone who's, who has potential. You can get rid of someone else who has potential um, in exchange for Shohei, which that's not a terrible trade. If the Dodgers were to do um, that kind of trade, that's actually not a bad idea. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that at all. So who knows what's going to happen? Um, I just want to have this out there to say like, Shohei needs to get traded. That's all I want. I want Shohei Otani to get traded. Even if it's not to the Dodgers. I would rather him get traded than flounder on the Angels for, it, for the rest of the year. Because he deserves to have a playoff run. 
at the very least, the Angels have wasted the two greatest players of our fucking generation for years. And no one has done a goddamn thing about it. And it is so pathetic watching uh, Angels baseball. Because every year, they've done this for like three years in a row. They start off the season. Everyone's like, oh shit, they're going to be good. And then something happens or they start sucking. And then everyone's like, oh shit, they're bad again? How? Am I the only one who predicted this shit from the very beginning? The Angels are under 500 right now. After their series with the Dodgers where they got smoked. They got smoked. Really, really hard. They got destroyed. I felt bad. You know who was the only guy who did fucking good in that series? Shohei Otani. He was the only one who actually didn't shit the bed. And he almost hit for the cycle um, in uh, game two. And he provided all of the runs, basically, pretty much by himself. So, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully, Shohei gets traded. Do I think he'll get traded? I feel like there's a 50-50 chance. I feel like there's a huge chance that Artie Moreno and the Angels will just say, you know what, dude? Fuck you. You're, you're on our team. Deal with it. And that's going to really suck if that's what happens. But I wouldn't pa put it past, past Artie Moreno to do that at all. I wouldn't put it past the Angels to do that at all. They need to get a whole new front office. Fire everybody. And get new people who know what they're doing. Get children. Because I'm pretty sure even children know better than these guys about how to run a fucking baseball team. Have you seen how Little League is run these days? More professionally than the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, which is a stupid ass name, by the way. So, whatever. You know, I don't give a fuck about the Angels anymore. I used to. When I was a kid, I used to think the Angels were sick. And now they suck. And they suck bad. And I don't see them ever not sucking again. I mean, obviously, there'll be a point where they're good again. Do I see it being this generation? Hell no. They're not going to be good for another 10 years, at least. Just because they do not know how to do nothing. If Arnie Moreno doesn't sell the team, they're not winning another damn thing. And you can quote me on that. Um, hopefully, the Dodgers can get Shohei. That's all I want at the end of the day. Um, for me, at least. Uh... Shohei will be happy if he comes to LA. I know that for a fact. We will keep you happy, my friend. You will be the hero of Los Angeles. He will be bigger than like any athlete LA has ever had. Um, minus Kobe. If your name isn't Kobe, then you are beneath Shohei Otani in terms of like scale uh, in the city of Los Angeles if he comes. And I'm sure he knows this. So hopefully Shohei comes. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. This has been Saya Sports. Bye-bye.